Today in Sully's Kitchen, we're making healthy stuffed peppers. I'm gonna get this a little more, a little finer so that it mixes in with the um, meat that we have so we don't have big chunks in our stuffed peppers. So what I've done is I've taken out all the stuff in here and I have four of them. And I'm coming to you today to tell you, don't be intimidated by food because it's just food. Don't throw these away, save them for salad or something, or you can put them in something else that you might need. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these and blanch them for about two minutes. Over here, I got a pot of hot water and I'm just gonna throw them in there for a couple minutes and soften them up. So if you don't have any of this, go grab some, it's pretty cool. You can use as much as you want and then put the lid back on. Otherwise, a can of tomato paste, you have to open it and then just waste a bunch. So these are really cool. Plus it's organic. So the spices that I'm going to be using in the stuffed peppers is oregano. Love a foodie Italian seasoning. And instead of garlic, you know, you can chop fresh garlic if you want, but I really like this because it has parsley and basil and salt and pepper already in it. So this is the garlic lovers seasoning blend. So I'm just gonna put all my vegetables in a hot pan. Really nice and cooked. I'm turn it down to medium so it'll burn. You throw a little more olive oil in. These are all my seasonings that we're using. I'm going to put them right in. A little more kosher salt. And black pepper. Oh, that smells so good. Mmm. We still have smell of vision in here. Smells so good. So we're just gonna saute these until they're nice and soft. I'll be right back. Does that look good? Mm, mm, mm. So I'm just going to take these out, set them aside. And what I'm going to do is put a little bit of water in here to take the bits off of the bottom. So now that all those bits are off of the bottom, we're going to throw our meat in. I have one pound of ground pork and about a pound and a half of very lean grass-fed beef. Okay, so as you can see, the um, pork and the beef are nicely combined and crumbled. And now I'm going to just add the vegetables back into that. And then when this is all combined, that's when you want to taste it again. And if you uh, feel that you need more garlic, more salt and pepper, that's where you're going to add it. So I'm combining all of the rice in with this mixture. And now I'm going to put some, probably about four tablespoons of tomato paste. And then combine that really good. Then I'll taste it again, see if it needs salt and pepper. Okay, so and I added a little bit more of that. Now I'm going to add some diced tomatoes. Mmm, that smells so good. Yeah, don't you think this would be really good in a soup? 
maybe put some tortellini or something in it. So to cut some of the acidity of the tomatoes, I'm just gonna add about, not a whole lot, but about a teaspoon of sugar. And I find that it needs a little bit more garlic too. So I'm gonna add a little more of this Love of Foodie Garlic Lever Seasoning Blend. I'm gonna add just a little more kosher salt, bring out the flavor a little. Now, if you're thinking that's a lot of salt, there's a lot of meat here. And if you're trying to stay low sodium, just do whatever you, you feel that you want in yours. So now we're gonna fill our peppers with our meat mixture and put them into the oven for about 20 minutes. We don't have to cook them very long because we've already par cooked the peppers. I found there was a little bit too much water in the peppers too from par cooking it. So what you can do is just dump, dump whatever water is in the peppers. You don't want them too wet. Super easy. Okay, so we're gonna put these in the oven at 400 for 20 minutes, and then we're gonna add some cheese and put it back in the oven. So I'm going to try a little bit of this with cheese on it. It's so good. It really is. Now, if you don't have Love of Foodie, of course you can use any seasonings you want. But I find that the Love of Foodie Garlic Lovers Blend, that's so good, makes it all the difference in the world. And why wouldn't you buy it? Go buy some. It's worth it. I would not lie to you. Okay?